Hi guys! Welcome back to Pottery by Malika. Today I'm going to be throwing a lidded bowl. Now I've done this in the past, this one in particular. Uh, it turned out really bad. <laughs> the glaze blistered because I overfired it. Probably because I overfired it. I'm not exactly sure, but I won't be using this glaze again. And uh, I'm going to make a new one. So um, you can see the general shape is a bowl on the bottom. I had it flare out so I could hold it instead of having handles. So it's all streamlined, but still has a spot to hold. And then it's got this recessed area here for the lid to sit on. And then the lid is just thrown like a bowl. And then I added the handle on top. So this time I'm going to do better because I've got all these little tester bowls over here. So I'm going to be trying new glaze combos and new glaze, new glazes and new glaze combinations. And I'm going to see what works for my clay body and my kiln and it's going to look better next time. <laughs> so I'm going to get started by weighing out some clay and I will see you in a sec. In the spirit of making things up as I go and experimenting, I am just kind of choosing a weight um, based on experience a little bit and based on just guessing <laughs> a little bit too. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try two pounds for the lid and three for the base since the base will be a little bigger. Um, it will look different than this. Don't expect me to have that one. I don't usually make the same thing twice, but that's the general idea. So I'm going to start with two pounds for the lid and three for the bottom. There's two pounds, and there's three pounds. So I'll wedge it up and get throwing. Wedging removes air bubbles and make sure everything's nice and consistent. You definitely don't want to run across air pockets or inconsistencies while throwing. It'll make everything really wonky. Alright, two and three pounds. Moving to the wheel. So, due to an unexpected cold snap, unexpected meaning I did not check the weather, <laughs> so I was not expecting it. Uh, due to that, my last lidded bowl froze, and so I am throwing some more. So this is a three pound ball, and I've got some other two and three pound balls wedged behind me, and I'm just going to throw. Basically doing everything the same as the first time I threw this for you guys, but I am going to make this one a little more vertical. Or maybe a lot more vertical. <laughs> Just decided I like that shape better, I think. So like last time, I'm leaving this edge thicker. Last one I did make a little ledge thing for um, little ledge in lieu of handles but for this one with the other ones I decided I just want it to be really round 
around it, so I don't want to do that. I'm just going to add handles later. So this is the tricky part. I'm just flattening out this top edge. And then I'm going to make the little flange thing. The gallery. It's a gallery. Flange is the part that sticks down if I was going to do that. It's a gallery. <laughs> All right. Then I will take my tool, which is apparently down here. All right. Tools down there today. You never know what you find in the water bucket. All sorts of stuff in there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Clean it off. Very important to stay steady for this part. That's probably the hardest hardest bit of it. And it's pushing down about halfway on that flattened top edge. Flattened top edge. All right. And smooth everything out. And then before I take it off the wheel, I take a measurement. I'm just measuring the gallery. So on both sides, right there. I just keep that over here and then take this off and start the lid. All right, I've got two pounds of clay here for the lid. Basically just throwing a bowl and making sure that the top rim is this wide, which is the measurement I took from the gallery on the base. Other than that, it's just a regular bowl. Looks good. Just gonna flatten off this edge a smidge. Thinking that'll sit a little flatter in the gallery. And then it's good. And I'm gonna end up doing all these a little differently, I'm sure. So I'm putting a number one there so I can match it up with the base later without having to do a bunch of trial and error. Alright, I'm gonna throw the other ones. Here they are, all the lids and the bases. They'll dry for a day or so and then I will trim them. Hi guys, here we are a couple days later and my pots are ready to trim. They're leather hard. They're a little soft still, but I think they'll be fine. This particular one is pretty thin here in the middle, I just checked. And so I'm just gonna round off this edge on this particular one. I will. Treat them all differently because they're all a little different. So for this one, I'm just going to round this off. All right, for the lid, I can feel before I trim that this is actually pretty thick here. And I can tell this is pretty, it's definitely rounded very nicely. So I can just round the whole top here. And then I can add a little handle knob. This one is, as you can see, on the wetter side. But now's the time I have time to trim, so <laughs> I'm going for it anyway. I'm just going to be more careful. So normally if this was like a bowl, I would leave this part flat and, you know, cover a foot ring. But because it's a lid, actually, I'm going to just round the whole thing. I'm 
gonna go get the base and then I will show you how they look together. Here's the base. Okay. Well, here we go. There's the base. And here's the lid. It's going to work. All right. So picture that with a knob on top and I'm debating about handles on the side still. <laughs> but definitely a knob on the top so you can pick it up. Anyway, there it is and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the other two and kind of speed it up for you guys because it's the same process. I'm back. I decided to do some little knobs on the top of the lids and I decided not to do handles on the side. I don't know. I just thought about it. That's what I ended up doing. So for the knobs, I'm going to throw this into several tubes and then I will connect them to the lids and you'll see how that works as I go. Meanwhile, I'm throwing some tubes and then I'm pretty much just going to stick my finger down the middle. I'm not really going to open it up wide. I'm just making a tube and then I'm just going to cut it off rope about here and I will use that to form knobs in a minute I need a couple more it's always best to make a few extra so I am going to make Probably four or so. See how many I can get out of this small piece of clay. All right, those are gonna be the knobs, which maybe seems weird, but I'll show you how I do it. I'll clean that off. I'll dry off my hands, and then I will get the lid centered up on the back on the wheel again. All right, once I got it all centered up on the wheel again, I am gonna score the top here. Hopping on the wheel makes that really easy. So I want to take it about out to the width that I had the cylinders. All right. If I take it a little too far, I can always smooth it. I don't want to take it too little. All right, next, take a cylinder, score that too. And then I'm going to just uh, put some vinegar on there. Just to help with adhering. All right. <laughs> and then I am going to attach this. I'm going to make sure it's centered on there. And then I'm just going to kind of pretend that this was always attached to it and make it into a handle, a little knob. So I'm pushing up from the inside, the inside finger, trying to round it out. My outside finger, I'm keeping that top narrow. Okay, and then I'm going to close it up. All right, never looks that pretty when it's first closed. <laughs> it's okay, I will smooth it out. What I'm going to do is poke a hole in the base, right here in the middle. I guess it's the top, inside the top. This is my needle tool, small hole. And that little hole will help with the inside of that knob drawing more evenly. So there we have it. I'll get the bottom of this one. I want to pick it up by the knob. Don't do that. It's still squishy. <laughs> bad idea. Bad idea. All right. There we go. So those will just dry together and 
it's good to go. And I'll just, I'll do some carvings on these as well because I do that.